All right, hey guys, it's me, TDF. It's me, Snake, and is it really necessary to introduce ourselves every part? Yes, they might forget because they might be too busy trying to kill themselves between each part. Okay. Anyway, we got a nice little pretty CGI cutscene going on here. Yeah, it's quite odd how they choose which ones will be in engine because this is no more plot relevant than anything else. What? I'm so distracted by Shadow's huge ass fucking pupils. Oh, maybe it's because they couldn't have done an effect like that in engine. I don't know. You. Oh my god, Shadow's head already went 180 there. <laughs> He's an owl. <laughs> he is a mix of alien, hedgehog, and owl DNA. Used to produce the worst fucking thing ever. The, the space colony ARK! ARK! There is nothing right about that. So he's not only shot him into space, he's into the past, he's breathing in space and not exploding, but that's par for the course at this point. Well, you don't consider the fact that they're talking in space anything wrong? Okay, yeah, good point. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, I, I, yeah, I can't. Oh, by the way, I remember the comment I was going to make when I was derping it up last uh, part. So, Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, when I, when I said that Shadow the Hedgehog to reference a bunch of old things from old games, you know, try to capture a nostalgic effect, Shadow the Hedgehog is basically the other M of the Sonic series. It tries to develop, it tries to develop the character, the, the you know, personality of a character, but, deba but, you know, the results are debatable. I mean, I've heard a lot of people actually, you know, make good examples of why Shadow's development in this game is pretty good, but... That's besides the point. The other thing is that tries to, up, tries to awkwardly mix in lots of nostalgic elements, but instead creates this uncanny sort of out of place feeling. It, differ it it tries to introduce new gameplay mechanics that don't exactly work that well. You know, this goes on. Ex and in fact, in fact, you know what else? Shadow monologues to himself in the same crappy voice. <laughs> well, no, I th okay. Not to say, not to say the voice acting is good, but you know, comparably to Other M, because I've listened to Other M's voice acting, and Shadow can at least try emotion, even if it's mostly really dull anger. You need to give Black Doom a thumbs down. I do. Well, I mean, again, he, Black Doom, I, he's just kind of like gravelly voice McGee here. Fucking. Oh yeah, and I love the fact these people will charge you with knives. It's like the one time in the game you can actually get some decent melee going on, but what's the fucking point? Can't strike it up, but yes. Anyway, this Adam, is, this is the Adam. second worst arc level. Well, I don't know. This is around the point where I stopped playing the game, so everything from this on is pretty much blind from me, from my I, perspective. I was just shooting that wall to note that you. This is what the bomb is all about. There you are. Matter of fact, we're on the high tech arc and they're using fucking TNT. Do you well think about it? Actually, that's not that that's not dumb because TNT was also an SA2's arc. Okay, fair enough. Remember the in uh, Eternal Engine for Tales, you could for some reason blow up those you know doors and then you could get stuck out of the space. It's just something that I've never really cared to question. When it what are they in the future or the past? And I, mean, I know we're 50 years now, but I mean, like, where this all ta actually takes place. You mean irrelevant? You mean, you mean compared to us? Uh, yeah, because I'm bored and I want to discuss. I'm bored of the gameplay, I just want to think. What? Yeah. Wait, 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 what the? What the fuck? Yes. I, I, no, 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 no. We can't discuss anything. No. I'm too mesmerized by that. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what the fuck was going on there. I mean, there must. I mean, I guess, like, someone accidentally left an air thing under the level geometry. But they'd never really bothered to go back and take it out. <laughs> I just kept saying this also I'll fix it tomorrow. I gotta, uh, I gotta weave in more intricate nostalgic references. Now here's the kind of thing about the arc levels, and this is why I hate them. All the levels follow a pattern or a theme, and they're all quite boxy. And as such, navigating through them is the worst pain. Mm, you have to keep changing your camera angle and everything. You know that there's a unique kind of boredom in a video game where you don't know what to do and you don't know what to do next and nothing will help you. Shadow the Hedgehog is now that feeling. I call it the shadow emotion. The that shadow when you, effect. Yeah, now whenever you're like bored trying to find out what to do next in a video game and it hasn't given you really much of a hint, that's what you can call it. And it gets worse in the next It gets worse in the next version of this level. I like how this frame rate drops in the middle of you with you talking for absolutely no reason. You weren't even there was nothing else was happening but the frame rate just decided to take a dip. Enemy sighted. I think the I think I think the game just got tired of rendering this game and just needed a break. I think it's kinda of more the fact that Dazzle feels wasted on a game that can only be, you know, done in this resolution. 
and this is for my friends. I will throw myself. Oh, he just shoved his body aside there. <laughs> I will throw myself at an angry hedgehog with this knife while he wields a gun. Oh, well, hey, they're all they're all pro ass Counter Strike players. True, true. They just know if you get the knife, you'll run faster. Now, this is the thing I'm showing you because you keep regenerating points as you shoot things, and you have infinite ammo. If enemies keep spawning in on you, you can have some serious. T you can be invincible for a long time. Is there even a point to freaking use Chaos Blast if you got something like this? No, no, there is no point. As long as enemies keep dropping in, this is better. I'm actually running around, and I've realized that door that was locked actually leads you back to the start of the level. And I have not realized yet that I've gone back. What is the fucking point of that door if you've got checkpoint things that will fucking teleport you back? Anyway, well, back to the thing I was going to say before I went on that ramble. Uh, I, I, yeah. This all Sorry. reminds me of that old Eddie Izzard uh, routine about basically, you know, people don't kill, uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people, but monkeys do too if they've got a gun. Well, this is about the hedgehogs then. Yeah. It's so basically, you know, the gun helps. You're not going to kill many people by yelling bang at them. <laughs> Also, so, oh, yeah, on that note, I'd also like to bring up this game is also a commentary on, um, on gun control. I remember, I, on this, um, site I used to go to, there was this, uh, satirical Shadow the Hedgehog for 2008, you know, presidential elections, and one of the members of the forum for that site actually, like, wrote up this whole, um, gun control, like, you know, Shadow's opinion on gun control thing, and you, you could write up, like, presidential, like, sort of article. One of my friends did, like, a one on gun control, and that was pretty great, in my opinion. Okay, so also you got to consider this with a gun control note. Think about, like I said, about Shadow's prioritizing of targets. Even if you're trying to go neutral, even if you're trying to go good, you will occasionally kill people on your side. So what the game is basically saying is, you know, that guns, there are mistakes. And with a gun, you are going to kill, you might kill your friends. Well, clearly, Shadow with a gun is like, oh, okay, I'm not going to go into that analogy, you don't even have to know what I was thinking. Why are you walking? What are you doing here? I was look. I was trying to look at the map. <laughs> okay. What, what's I, 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 I like how Shadow is. It's, it's, it's like he goes into a battlefield and he can't distinguish between a little girl and a freaking giant monster. They're all the same in his eyes. It's not a shitty gameplay mechanic. It's an idea. Exactly. It, it's showing how all. Uh, it's, 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 it's an analogy for how Shadow is. Um, the justice system. All are equal in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> this shows off how deep and serious a character Shadow is. This game needed a theater mode like other M. So you can just, <laughs> we can just record that instead. Not actually have to play at all. Oh, that would have saved me so much time and it does have a theater mode. But oh, it yeah, doesn't, I, I, but it doesn't I, I, have gameplay. Yeah, yeah. But either way, I still would have had to play this. <laughs> Do not fall off this two-foot freaking uh, elevator. That's actually a thing I've had about Sonic games recently, because the... Because the jump always feels stiff, and I'm not talking about this game, but the jump does feel pretty weird, I guess. It's more the fact to, to accommodate for how weird the jumping is. You... I like how you can say you still feel the resistance when you're like, should I go after the soldiers or should I just leave the stage? Hmm. Nah, nah. Mom, Considering how awkward the jumping is, they decide to make every platform miles wide. <laughs> and it's also something. What? To... <laughs> wow, I bet that's because you decided to backtrack unintentionally. <laughs> yeah. That's also something I've had a kind of note not to go in about thing because I've actually you, you, enjoyed you the recent. You, you should play the Chariots of Heaven when and like play that scene in slow motion when they're running together. I will get on. I'll get right on that. It won't happen. Heavy dog reporting in. Primary target and the girl have been located. Acquiring target primary target and the girl. So exactly. I'll, yeah. So what why exactly? Remind me story wise. Why did they wish to kill her? Please shadow. That, that is not Maria's voice. Oh my god, that's a freaking forty-year-old woman. That's not a freaking twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> girl. No, 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 no. That's the. That's what they were trying. <laughs> like, to, they were trying um, to cure her vocal cords. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot the ones that are giving her the wrong voice. Get out of my way. <laughs> Those foolish humans uh -oh. killing uh -oh. the threat. Heavy dog. This name is a reference to the. I, I'm assuming at least I haven't checked. This, but I'm assuming this name is a reference to how in FA2 all the military gun uh, robots, uh, you know, the bosses were all like you know flying dog, freaking mm. bigfoot, etc. Well, this thing does look a wee bit heavier than the rest of them. Now, aside from anything else, we do get a nut. We do actually get a nice bit of music back. 
Oh, is this the, is this the gun thing? Yes. Oh, I didn't have, I didn't have the volume on ball. It's got... So what you do is, this boss fight, this boss fight is um, not hard, just kind of awkward at the start because the targeting, the target, you got to hit the, you got to hit the same turret to make it drop, but once you get a turret it will drop a rocket launcher and the get boss fight becomes piss easy. Frederick Evans Bone! Even though, even though he's not fucking even on the ground. <laughs> well, you know, boss patterns and such. There you go, now this boss fight has become very easy. It's the one useful rocket launcher in the game, and I'm still, you know, hoping to Why, because you can actually control mouse. it? Is it like a key sticking one? Yes, yeah, no, well, no, it's a uh, lock-on. So, you don't actually have to aim, and I like the fact that the ro that it doesn't rotate with you, which means Shadow dislocates his arm every time he jumps with it. Oh god, <laughs> twists it repeatedly. Mm -hmm. he, should, he should be in, in tremendous pain right now. Well, he's, 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 we, we've seen from his jumping animation the shadow is in fact very elastic. Oh yeah, he is actually Werehog style shit going on there. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> it will do gruesome things. It will give you an awful Indian sunburn and a wedgie. That reminds me, gritty reboot, uh, realistic damage. Realistic damage visuals. Oh, delicious. Yeah, and all the enemies will carry flamethrowers. So, you will get to see Sonic the Hedgehog burnt to a crisp realistically. It will be... I will look up pictures of burn victims for hours and... Um, yeah. Back to them. I apologise to any burn victims listening to this. Please don't peel away from us. Peel away? Are you sure that's a very appropriate thing to say to them? That's the point. <laughs> and that's the proper reaction to being blown up by a hedgehog. How dare you? Harm like, in fact, Maria. the vehicle didn't really explode. It's just kind of there. How dare you harm Maria? Only I can do that. <laughs> How dare you harm Maria, person who didn't shoot Maria? I, I can't. I can't take that post Shadow's doing seriously when the floating asshole is right next to him. <laughs> Oh, God, like, the, I just realized that the president has a five head. Sir, is ready. We must go <laughs> Look at his hand. Sir, we will bring I... along your hair dye. Don't worry, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> I failed my duty. Once again, I am incompetent. <laughs> Sir, it's not over. We can continue to fight. <laughs> to protect <Ooh>. our... <laughs> Is that all the president does in freaking uh, um, station square? Just dramatically look out of his balcony. Now, like I said, this part here is all about family values in 1950s America, no matter but what, we don't need to go into that. We'll never I like how his hands are clipping through each other. That's the power of the president. <laughs> he ordered it, he's actually got holes in the middle of his hands, his palms. He can never eat Skittles, but he can do amazing party tricks. <laughs> Oh my god, they said hell, OMG, this oh is such no. a short game. This game must be banned. <laughs> so that's banned. so Shadow just came back to the place of his picture. <laughs> After a delightful swim with Black Doom. I like the way you, they, they, they do just chill in cutscenes, just standing around judging. Right, how the hell am I going to jump up there? I like how Black Doom feels the need to freaking do a swipe with his hand after every after every statement. He's imitating will... human kind of speech in a way. I will have. No, I'm going to have a coffee. Yes. Well, actually, you can't ever have a coffee. You'll knock the fucking thing over. <laughs> Black, just like my soul. They killed my soul. Sorry, you just gave me a fucking Metal Gear Solid 2 flashback. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, every time you pause the game to, like, change your mission, I think the YouTube video's frozen. Sorry, I actually hadn't played this thing. I paused for thought when I first saw this gun. It's a cock. <laughs> this gun oh is a cock. Which, again, now I realize, is a whole comment on the gun culture. That people who have guns are actually compensating for something. Yes. This is degenerated into cock jokes, but seriously. This gun can't be anything else. So, they, so this be the ambiguously gay single? I guess. Okay, so, what is this? So, the black arms come along with their dicks, and they fuck everything. 
I mean, think about it, this isn't the first time we've seen a phallic, a very, very, very phallic object in a Sonic game. I mean, yet again, this is another clear nostalgic reference to Sonic Adventure 2 with uh, Rouge's penis car. So, are you saying that what they were doing was the black aliens were on Google Earth one day, or Google Mobius, whatever, they saw Rouge driving and they thought, we can make a gun off of that. Or perhaps it's like they designed the gun so that whenever a gun soldier, you know, sees a black, uh, a black alien or whatever the fuck we wish to call them, a black arms, they will, you know, check themselves and thus be shot due to their own distraction. Which makes me wonder if they have any Yonic guns. So yeah, you can imagine how useful a vehicle oh is God. in this is, kind is, of stage. Was that the beast one? What? There are obese ones now. Well, actually, they have been appearing for a bit now, but with this, but this gun is actually really effective. It's my, it is second best. Well, sorry, turn on the friendly AI then, Black Doom. Also, the only reason I'm killing him is so I can skip chunks of the stage. He doesn't realize that it's beneficial that I kill his men. Also, I'm getting, a, I get a seriously Wing Fortress vibe at these parts. Uh, I, for this, I see what you mean, because you're, you know, you're going up against the side of a, sh of a giant ship, yeah. Mm. I don't know, I, Sank, Sank, I don't know, it's just, that's the only kind of vibe I get from this. And I, the thing about this game is, I actually like some of the level designs, I mean, like, the ideas for level design. It's just that they it's just the gameplay and the level design that ruins them. A derp. Mm. It seems like it'll be very annoying. It is. Well, it's not so bad the first time around, where it gives you a, quite a bit of leeway in timing, but yeah. <coughs> it's still not particularly fun. Wow, so, nice going there. You don't understand, because I can only lose 10 or 20 rings at a time. <laughs> it's a complete non-issue. Exactly, except for the fact that there's nothing worthwhile on this side, aside from all those guns. Well, what about the chicken gun? I don't want the chicken gun. Goddamn, this thing. This is not up to debate. I don't want the chicken gun. What past me doesn't want the chicken gun. Now, you see that um, blue pickup there? Why, wait, wait, why did you skip the life there, though? There was a life it. box. I don't need it. it. Goddamn, this thing. I do things on the challenging, also, Wing Fortress vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I totally see it. This is clearly another Freudian uh, nostalgic reference or some bullshit. I don't know, even my own my own theory anymore. Yeah. Well, no, my theory is immigration, gun control, and abortion. Wait. No. Oh, never mind. I, I forgot what my third point was. Let's say it is abortion. No, let's say it's artificial insemination. If you let... If you, you know, artificially create creatures, you will get genocidal hedgehogs. Don't forget you're first gonna get a lizard, though. You will get a uh, chocolate starfish, genocidal, hedgehog, black doom, alien invasion shit. And that's why you can't let the... And that's why you can't let this fall into moral decay. Wasn't this section in the two-player mode? Yeah, I think this is the room. I actually wanted to get... I actually did want to get some two-player footage that we can end on. But I wasn't gonna ask any of my friends to play this piece of shit with me. I, I wish we could, I wish we could do like net play on like dolphin together and record that because the two player mode in this game is amazing. I, I actually really like it. Wow, I really? I, I don't know. I like I, it's so broken. I just it's, just it's like it's like Sonic 06 two player. Isn't, isn't one of the characters in that just a, a reskin? Two, two of the actually no all five alternate characters are just reskins. Right. So I bet. People, I bet people who make up fan characters saw that and jizzed. Yeah, yes, my shadow was yellow instead of red is canon. Ah. Well, I love it. The, the shadow, that, like the metallic-looking shadow robots that only could use one gun but like had infinite ammo for it, were pretty cool. Hmm. They're like all Mega Man style. You can see the issue of the chicken gun against big enemies here. <laughs> And the fucking uselessness of the homing attack. It doesn't actually set you up to hit things repeatedly, it just kind of bounces you off and you can't target again until you land. Or in fact, I'm it really awkwardly. And I'm left alone to talk about this level, so um... Now what we have here is Tails, he's one of the oldest characters, and he, now in this game he runs and does the propeller shit at the same time. That's clearly to show that Shadow perceives things differently yes, than everyone else. Um, yeah. Oh great, I'm not alone.
I was just talking about how Tails is perceived differently by Shadow. Whoa, 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 Tails is in here. Wait, when the, when the fuck did Tails get here? He got here when you left. He tr he tried to fill in the void left by your lack of commentary. <laughs> Wait, wasn't like Amy or something the good character in this, or was I just not paying attention? Ain't no, Tails is the good character. Black Doom is evil. I like for, no. Oh, he just got winded. Tails is actually trying. There's only half of left. Keep going when he's only seen me take out one. Sonic told me to fuck off, so I decided to come to you. Yeah. Uh huh. That's the issue with this new kind of voice actor they had going here. Uh, were they still using little kids at this point? Uh, no, this is already the. This is already like. No, no, I'm pretty sure Tails is. A lot of Tails is voiced or, you know, old girl, older girl. But, you know, frequently in media, for voice acting, uh, older women voice smaller children. Yeah, but I swear, like in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, um, they, had the, they, had a young, they had a young boy do it, and that's why they rotated voice actors mm. quite a bit. Oh. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic Adventure 1. Still probably has. Well, the acting wasn't necessarily the best. I think he had the best voice for it, you know, just in general. I don't give a shit about the voice actors. I'm just gonna put that out there now. I mean, I don't think they're. I don't think they're completely, you know. Oh my god, make a whole rant video about it. But I, I, I do like, and this might surprise quite a few people, but I do usually do care about the story in video games, and this includes Sonic games. So, uh, a poor voice actor can detract quite a quite a bit from the overall effect of the game and detract from my overall opinion. Well, yeah, but in a story like this, good voice acting won't save you. Exactly, so, yeah. I mean, it's just it's a, minor part, it's a minor part. I mean, but the whole thing about it is, aside from anything else that I have, is, uh, I guess the first time I played Sonic Colors, I couldn't actually help but imagine that Sonic had... I kind of thought, wow, he's gone surfer, dude, <laughs> between games. I don't know, that's the vibe I got from it, but aside from that, it's, 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 really like Sonic, it's like with Unleashed, Sonic was finally getting into the whole 2000s style, but then he was like, no, I'm not ready for this, nope, nope, and decided to OD on 90s. <laughs> well, I guess they know their audience then. I mean, isn't it mostly just nostalgia at this point? Yeah, uh, I mean, not, not just because generations, but... You know the whole 2D thing that's going on with the colors and whatnot. Well, also. I didn't actually care much for Generations, but there's one thing about Generations that I like, in in a sense, and that means that they're not going to get to play the nostalgia angle any longer. I mean, if they do, it will just... I don't know, maybe they will. Perhaps I'm giving them too much credit. Because I just want hey. them to try some new shit, really. I want... Uh, I mean, maybe... I'm, I'm, like a ne I'm like a Neo Retro fag. My favorite, my favorite era was the Adventure era, and I want Adventure Star gameplay again, man. I wouldn't mind a new adventure style game, but, you know. Actually, didn't someone make a comment about that saying, so, about Sonic Adventure 3, why not Sonic Adventure 3 DS? Oh my god, I hate that. No, 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 no. In no, that no, no. tone. In that tone. I really want it to be on the console. I don't want it to be a, a portable game. Not that there's nothing wrong with portable games, but like for a game that big, I want the total immersion of, you know. I can see what you mean. And while I wouldn't mind, you know, 3 DS, I couldn't really. I don't. I don't know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it, a, a, any good game is a good game, really. Uh, I just probably won't enjoy it as much on... I just, I just probably wouldn't enjoy it as much on a smaller screen. Mm. Uh, it, it, the effect isn't as pronounced. That reminds me about the whole 3DS thing. Has anyone actually made an emulator for that stuff yet? Uh, there is an emulator, but I don't think there are any dumped ROMs. Oh, okay. So... Wow, way to suck, Snake. Way to- oh my god, Snake, no, no, way to suck- oh my- Snake, I can't believe that- I mean, way to suck. Fuck you.